Hey, it's Randy, and I have Heather Allen from here in Ames with me. And, and October is a very important month for many people, but for you it's really a special month, right, Heather? That's right, Randy. So tell us a little bit about your story and why you're here today. I'm here today as a survivor of breast cancer. So I've had two different types of breast cancer in my young life. I'm, I will turn 36 this October. Birthday and breast cancer That's awareness right. month. Yeah. One of the lines I thought that you had was the best, and I'll let you tell it. I'll let you say it. Uh, one of my lines is that it's important to get acquainted with your own breasts uh, and to speak up when you notice something unusual. And that's very important. So tell us your story. Why is that such an important line to you? Uh, the reason that's important to me is because it was only by uh, my own advocacy that, that I was able to help diagnose my first breast cancer. So I lived with an undiagnosed lump for 18 months before I finally requested a biopsy and the cancer was discovered. And so then once it was discovered, talk a little bit about the process, how that all happened. So once it was discovered, started the really long and scary and painful process of uh, chemotherapy treatment and mastectomy and radiation to try to get rid of the inflammatory breast cancer that was discovered in my body. One of the things from our conversation earlier that you were explaining, the reason it took a year and a half was because this is a really hard cancer to detect, correct? That's right. So at the time um, that the lump started, I was breastfeeding my daughter. And so most physicians thought it was a plug duck of some sort. And I had many ultrasounds and mammograms and the radiologist didn't see anything unusual. So the type of cancer I had, inflammatory breast cancer, doesn't look like other types of cancer on an ultrasound or mammogram. And so uh, everybody was missing it. So talk to us a little bit about the steps. You, you discovered it. You went to the doctor, your, your doctors weren't buying it, and then what happened? Uh, basically, I was too patient. Uh, if I had known then what I know now, I would have been my own advocate much sooner. Uh, but, you know, I, a, a physician actually told me it wasn't cancer, and so, and I, you know, of course I'm going to believe that. It's what you want to believe. And so uh, it took me a long time to, you know, be more proactive about getting a diagnosis instead of being told what it wasn't. And it was only by um, finding a different specialist uh, who was willing to do a biopsy that I was able to learn what that lump was. The reason you're still here today, you have a few people you'd like to thank for that, right? Oh, that's right. I'd love to thank my family, my husband, uh, my dad, um, my kids, my parents, my grandparents, everybody, and then also a whole entire network of friends and loved ones who were key to supporting me. Uh, also, my amazing physicians and nurses at the William R. Bliss Cancer Center and the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics. Everyone, the huge team effort to get uh, the cancer out of my body. So, Heather, you've had a great support crew. Are there any pieces of advice that worked for you? I think some things that were key to my f survivorship have been uh, a positive attitude and exercise, you know, taking care of myself. Uh, there's research supporting the importance of that in other survivors as well, and I think that they have. I can certainly say that they've helped me immensely. So um, positive attitude, exercise. I do yoga and meditation as well as walking. Even on my sickest days, I made sure I walked at least around the block as much as I could. So those have been key. As we wrap this up, it's, again, October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What's the final thing that you want to say? Do yourself a favor. Give yourself a, a breast exam and schedule an appointment to get things checked up. Heather, thanks uh, for coming in and we're glad you're still with us. All right. Thanks, Randy.